In this video, we will practice using the order of operations in a word problem. Jenna is selling lemonade at her lemonade stand to earn money for the summer. Her recipe involves the juice of four lemons, and she knows that each lemon provides about 40 milliliters of juice. She also includes an additional 200 milliliters of water to dilute the lemon juice and a bit of sugar. If we were told that there is 100 grams of sugar per liter, how many total grams of sugar are in this recipe? Let's take this problem step by step. First, we can find the volume of the diluted lemon juice in milliliters. If each lemon gives 40 milliliters of juice, and there are four lemons in this recipe, write an expression for the total volume in milliliters after adding 200 milliliters of water. That's right, each lemon gives 40 milliliters of juice, so that's 40 milliliters for each of the four lemons. 40 milliliters plus 40 milliliters plus 40 milliliters plus 40 milliliters, which is 40 milliliters times four lemons. Then we add another 200 milliliters of water. 40 times four plus 200 is our expression for volume. Let's convert the units of milliliters to liters. If one liter is 1000 milliliters, what operation is needed to convert our total volume expression from milliliters to liters? This one is tricky. If we want to get rid of our units of milliliters, we need to divide by milliliters to cancel the units out from the top and the bottom. This is similar to dividing the same number by itself to equal one. But as the milliliters are divided by itself and equals one, anything times one equals itself. So we essentially just cancel the units to make it less complicated. This is thoroughly explained in dimensional analysis videos. So make sure to check those out. Our total volume in milliliters is all divided by a thousand to have a number in liters. Our expression now looks like this. We keep the total volume in milliliters in parentheses because we group that as our first step before dividing by a thousand. To find the grams of sugar, we will now use the grams per liter of the lemonade. If there is 100 grams per liter, write an expression for the grams of sugar. Yes, we want to take our previous expression that shows our total volume in liters and multiply it by 100 grams over liters. This way, the liters will cancel out and we are only left with grams of sugar. Finally, we can use the order of operations to solve our expression. What is our first step? Exactly, we can recall PEMDAS, or please excuse our dear Aunt Sally, to remember that the first step is P, standing for parentheses. We want to solve everything within the parentheses first. However, should we solve the multiplication or the addition first? Well, going down the list of PEMDAS, multiplication comes before addition, so we will solve 40 times 4 and then add the 200 milliliters. How does our expression look after solving everything within the parentheses? Yes, 40 times 4 plus 200 is 360. But what does this number mean again? This is 360 milliliters of lemonade. Why don't you try to solve the rest? How many grams of sugar is in Jenna's lemonade? Jenna makes 0 0.36 liters of lemonade from her recipe after dividing 360 milliliters by 1000. Lastly, we will multiply 100 by 0 0.36 to get 36 grams of sugar. It's important to keep track of all the information we are given and note what and why we are doing each math calculation as we get closer to finding the overall solution.